27-year-old Norma Louise Hoagland, who was born on February 4th, 1951, was a proud mother of two young boys, eight-year-old Richard Ricky Allen and six-year-old Thomas Tommy James. The trio lived on Sutterville Road in Sacramento, California. By the late 1970s, Norma and her husband had divorced and he was living in Washington. In the summer of 1978, on or before the 15th of July, Norma, Ricky and Tommy awoke as usual, eating some breakfast before taking on the day, whatever lay ahead but what truly happened that day is left shrouded in mystery, as the family of three strangely vanished, never to be seen or heard from again. After a week, Norma's relatives became increasingly concerned after not hearing from her in recent days, as this was very out of character. As a result, Norma's father went to visit his daughter's apartment, but it stood eerily silent, though nothing appeared to be out of place. Norma's clothes and makeup appeared to be untouched, and both Ricky and Tommy's bikes were still in the apartment. An uncashed welfare check was also present. There were three or four dishes lying in the kitchen sink, suggesting that the trio may have eaten sandwiches before leaving the apartment. This led investigators to believe that Norma and her sons had every intention to return to their home, but for reasons unknown, they never came back. The only thing that appeared missing from the residence was Norma's car, which was either a blue or gold 1965 Pontiac Le Mans, with the California license plate 254SBI. Norma's father, rather oddly, subsequently decided to write a letter to the police regarding his daughter's disappearance, rather than visiting a police station himself. Many thought this was strange, as sending a letter rather than immediately reporting his daughter and grandsons as missing would have hindered the search for them significantly. When people go missing, time is of the essence, and yet, for whatever reason, Norma's father did not see his daughter's disappearance as a matter of such urgency. Something Norma and her sons often did during the summer months, especially in 1978 due to a very hot Sacramento summer, was go for car rides, as the apartment they lived in didn't have air conditioning. They would often go for these road trips to cool off, and the boys loved it. There didn't need to be a specific destination in mind, just driving around was enjoyable enough for young Ricky and Tommy. The car itself didn't have air conditioning, but driving with the windows down helped cool the boys significantly. Many believed that Norma, Ricky and Tommy had perhaps gone for a ride on the day they last made contact with loved ones, but authorities have never been able to verify this. Police questioned family and friends, including Norma's ex-husband and the father of both Ricky and Tommy, as well as others living in the Sacramento area at the time, but unfortunately, nobody could shed any light on the Hoagland's disappearances. 
Police found no evidence to indicate the trio's whereabouts, and there was nothing to indicate that the family had met some sort of foul play, though it has never been ruled out. The case, as a result of lack in leads, subsequently went cold. Though it appeared that they left of their own volition, what were their plans, and where were they headed? Did they intend on going out just for the afternoon, or was this an unexpected extended trip? Was it spur of the moment, or was it planned, and did they leave of their own free will? Did Norma have any strained relationships with her family, which led to her leaving Sacramento to start life anew with her sons? Was Norma in some sort of trouble? We know next to nothing about her life, nor anything about her as a person. Did she perhaps have a secret relationship and intended on meeting up with them, Or is the explanation far more simplistic? It is entirely possible that during one of their usual road trips, the family got involved in some sort of road accident. With that being said, however, the vehicle has never been recovered. Did they perhaps fall into a lake or ravine? with the car becoming submerged by the water and the family subsequently drowning as a result. This certainly seems like a more likely scenario, but without any clues to indicate that this was the case, all we have at this point are theories. Norma's family were left heartbroken by her disappearance and by the lack of any clues as to her and her boy's whereabouts. Since they disappeared, both of Norma's parents, one of her sisters and her ex-husband have all passed away without ever knowing what happened to the trio. Norma's sister, Karen Molina, and their brother are still looking for answers to this day. Molina told KCRA on the 35th anniversary of the family's disappearance in 2013, quote, I wonder every day what happened to her. I think about her every day. All they want are answers, and most importantly, closure. When the family disappeared in 1978, Norma Louise Hoagland was 27 years old, of Caucasian origins with blonde hair and hazel eyes. She stood at 5 feet 5 inches tall and weighed 135 pounds. What she was wearing on the day she disappeared is unknown, though it was common for her to wear turquoise jewellery, mainly rings and bracelets. According to authorities, she may use the surname Briggs. Norma may also have been suffering from depression at the time, according to case files, though authorities have stated that it should not be assumed that this was a factor at all in the family's vanishing. If alive in 2021, Norma would be 70 years old. Her eldest son, Richard Allen Hoagland, who was born on August 26, 1969, was eight years of age, one month shy of turning nine when he vanished, of Caucasian origins with brown hair and brown eyes. He stood at five feet three inches tall and weighed approximately 50 pounds. If alive today, Ricky would be 51 years old. The youngest member of the family, Thomas James Hoagland, who was born on October 21st, 1972, was six years old at the time of his disappearance, also of Caucasian descent with brown hair and brown eyes. He stood at three feet tall and weighed 45 pounds. If Tommy is still alive, he would be 48 years old. 
it should be noted that the Hoagland family are classed as endangered missing and authorities are still searching for answers, despite so many details in this case being somewhat scarce. It's been over 43 years since the Hoagland family mysteriously vanished and investigators are no closer to finding out what happened that fateful summer day in 1978. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of Norma, Ricky or Tommy Hoagland or you have any information regarding their Pontiac Le Mans vehicle, you can contact Sacramento Police Department on 916 808 0560.